Today we're going to be taking a look at Lemex Maximus, a name that means biggest slug. Lemex Maximus are commonly called gray slugs or leopard slugs. Leopard slugs are the third largest terrestrial slugs in the world, behind banana slugs and the black keeled slug. Leopard slugs are native to Europe and North Africa, but have spread to many other parts of the world as invasive hitchhikers on plants. Leopard slugs are currently found on every continent except Antarctica. In the United States, leopard slugs have been found in 46 out of the 50 states. Leopard slugs are hermaphroditic, having both male and female sexual organs. They are known for their unique sexual reproduction, where both slugs hang from a thick strand of mucus during copulation. The slugs lay a cluster of large transparent eggs that hatch in about a month. Once hatched, the slugs grow to maturity in about two years and can live up to three years. Leopard slugs are omnivores, which eat plants, decaying organic material, as well as other slugs. Slugs and snails are gastropods, a type of mollusk, related to octopus and squid. Gastropods use their muscular foot to move. Here you can see the muscular undulations that propel the slug as it moves across the glass. Here you can see the exterior anatomy of the leopard slug. The mantle is responsible for secreting the shell in mollusks, but only provides minor protection to the slug. The slug will retreat with its sensitive eyes and tentacles under the mantle when threatened. A respiratory pore is visible on the right side of the slug. This pore allows oxygen to diffuse into the slug and carbon dioxide to diffuse out. The anal opening is hidden under the mantle near the respiratory pore. The slug has four sensory tentacles, two eye stalks and two ventral feeling tentacles. The vision of the slug is poor, as their eyes only have primitive lenses. The slug instead relies on chemoreception and tactile response from the ventral tentacles. Slugs and snails also have photoreceptive cells distributed across their body and will respond to shadows by retracting their eyes under the mantle or seeking cover. Like many other slugs, leopard slugs play host to several types of serious parasites. Some of these parasites can cause illness in humans, so it is important to wash produce that is exposed to these slugs, as well as washing your hands after handling them or coming in contact with areas where they live. I hope you've enjoyed this brief video on Lemix Maximus, the leopard slug. If you did, make sure to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Check out my other animal videos by following the links to the right. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.